I want this video to be about helping newbies transition from learning all this wisdom and knowledge to applying it. Here are the most points that I learned and applied that got me results. 1. Discipline yourself to require action. The most important of all lessons. None of what you see here matters if you do not do anything with it. My best results happened when applied a touch of knowledge at a time. Not trying to overwhelm myself with an excessive amount of change too quickly. Baby steps. For instance, if you're lacking within the fitness department, start with a Monday to Wednesday and Friday routine with 5x5 five five strong lifts for a month, before up to a 4-day split for 3 months, before up to a 5-day split for 6 months, before up to a 6-day split or PPL for a year. Another example, for 2 weeks. Just start saying hi to people once you walk past them or make eye contact with no expectation of a conversation starting. Then for an additional 2 weeks start saying, hey, how's it going? Again, not expecting any conversation to start. Then to more weeks of hey. How's it going? Crazy game last night, huh? This point allowing a 30 second conversation to occur. Then on then fourth, you've got to form yourself do the items you recognize you would like to try to do. You'll thank yourself for this. The grass is greener on the opposite side of hardship. 2. Learn to talk up about what you would like and begin fucking saying no. This world is your oyster. You are a legendary sexy space Christ sent from Mars to steer the normies to a fun and interesting life that does not suck. Boss wants you to remain an hour late so it fucks up your workout schedule. No, can't tonight. Friends want to attend some lame-ass hipster bar crammed with green and pink-haired feminists. Fuck that shit, bro. We're going bowling. Friend doesn't want to approach to cuties with you cause he's a pussy. Go approach and convey them over to introduce him anyway. A method or another you've got to form this life enjoyable and fun for you. Stop giving a fuck about others' intentions and begin completing your wants and desires. Others will follow and need to follow. I promise you will be happier. And as a bonus, people will respect you more for it. It's your motherfucking job to urge out of life what you would like from it. Act sort of a king and choose it. 3. Be bold, confident, and cocky. Is this all that hard? Hell no. And it seems fun as fuck. Who else would have the balls to try to do that? Never the bulk of men within the world who are feminized pussies. I do ridiculous shit like this often. The bolder you're, the more results you get. My personal favorite is making hella witty and sexually charged jokes anytime I'm around a female I'm interested in. Mixing humor with desire may be a strong aphrodisiac for women. Mix this with calibrated kino, and you're golden. Consider it as an exercise within the gym, you're exercising your bold muscle. Once it grows, you will have momentum on your side which will start to strengthen your IDGAF attitude. Then your social circle builds because you're a stimulating person to be around. It only gets better. Before TRP, whilst an entire social anxiety-ridden mess in social settings, I used to be confident as fuck in things like video games and chess. I might be hilarious over the mic, and in game chats because I used to be in my element. Want to be greater than I used to be used to it. It had been my domain and that I was comfortable. Seek to form social interactions and meeting people your default. Make it your element and something that comes naturally and comfortably to you. 4. Take fitness seriously. This has been stressed more times than I can even begin to count. The wholesome, raw confidence, mixed with the discipline of a strict training regime is that the most precious attribute I've gained since I started this journey. I desire one million bucks in every room I walk into. Rarely is there someone bigger than me, but once I do see someone bigger, I respect them and their dedication. Not jealous in the least, glad that they need to reach the level I aspire to get on someday. I always make it to some extent to speak lifting with the most important dudes at parties and bars. Their eyes illuminate like fucking Christmas because all big dudes like to mention lifting. Great way to satisfy alpha buddies too. Something the bulk of the sub base here tends to struggle with. Be dedicated as fuck till you reach the purpose. Where people move out of your way in heavily crowded areas and you receive the nod of acknowledgement everywhere you go. 5. Embrace discomfort. You have to form the connection in your mind that the items that you simply don't need to try to do today or your happiness. Enjoy tomorrow. Still haven't taken that cold shower. That's recommended here once every week have you. Try it. Set an alarm on your phone for 5 minutes and make a game out of it. Pretend you're on the fear factor or some shit to form it fun. Free increase of testosterone. Still haven't tried any electronics within the bedroom rule. Have you? Try it. I'll bet you $5 your sleep quality increases. These and lots of other actions that are recommended here have huge potential and dividends if you just give them an honest try. Tired after an extended day and just want to binge watch Narcos. 
No, fuck that and fuck you. Get off your ass and do one among the above, or something you have been trying to try to do but haven't gotten around to it. Then you'll watch an episode of Narcos. Before bed as a gift for doing something worth a fuck. 6. Women are a lagging indicator. You'll notice none of those points are about women directly. That's because the sole failsafe method to approach TRP is to create it, and that they will come. Sexual marketplace value rules all. Fuck your lazy habits. Fuck your endless video games. Fuck your blue-pilled friends. Fuck your shitty onitis. Fuck your crippling anxiety. Fuck your shitty sense of dress and elegance. Fuck your bad hygiene. Fuck your poor choice in foods. Fuck your half-assed workouts. Fuck your dead-end job, bugger all of that. This is often a result-driven world. Catch on done.